Well, we want to tell you uh, this morning about a partnership between business and government focusing on fighting the virus. Sports merchandise uh, giant Fanatics is now using a factory used to make Major League Baseball apparel to produce masks and gowns for healthcare workers. Uh, this is in partnership with the, major, with the MLB and the state of Pennsylvania. Joining us now, Michael Rubin, executive chairman of Fanatics, partner of the uh, Philadelphia 76ers, and Pennsylvania Governor uh, Tom Wolf. Welcome uh, to you both. Um, thank you, Governor, for, for, uh, uh, for coming on today. And, and Michael, I make it clear. So Major League Baseball is the only sport where you handle all the manufacturing of all the uh, uh, of everything baseball related. So you were able to do this with that facility and turn it over completely uh, to, uh, to masks and gowns. That's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, so Fanatics makes uh, all of the merchandise for more than just baseball. Actually, we do it with both, both base, baseball and the NFL with Nike, except for baseball is the only sport where we make the merchandise um, domestically in America. So all baseball uniforms that players play on are made in America, in Pennsylvania, in Easton. And uh, we realized kind of, you know, last week that we had this 360,000 square foot um, apparel manufacturing facility that has a million yards of fabric and that actually has 100 plus sewers that make baseball uniforms day in and day out. And then we can actually use those same people and same materials to make masks and gowns. Amazing. All right. So what, Governor, how did, did you get involved in, uh, in this? Uh, what other initiatives uh, do you think this could be the beginning of something big, I think, for, for uh, another one of these uh, corporate partnerships uh, with the government? What else? Absolutely. I think this is a really big thing. First of all, I got to give full credit to Michael. Michael called me with this idea, uh, and I uh, actually visited the, the plant, and, and I know Michael, and, and uh, he's just a, a really good citizen. Major League Baseball uh, and, and uh, Fanatics wanted to make a contribution to this effort. Uh, and I think it's, it's, it's part of a, a broader trend that, that businesses are stepping up to, to volunteer uh, to retool, to, to reorient their production lines, to, to make sure that they're making a big contribution to this epidemic that we're facing. But I can't say enough about Michael Rubin and Fanatics and, and what they're doing, uh, the role they're playing in, in making sure Pennsylvania especially is, uh, is, is up to speed. I appreciate well, those kind Michael, words. Michael, I mean, it, yeah, Michael, this is a great, not only a great example for you, but you know everyone. I mean, uh, th there must be uh, a lot of other uh, companies that, that could do some similar things. I don't know if everyone's, uh, obviously, maybe the sports world is, has got a whole lot of other things to do uh, at this point, uh, which is unfortunate, as, as you know, especially, I'm sure Fanatic's business is, is affected to some extent by that. But, I mean, couldn't this be repeated, yeah. this, this model, again and again? Yeah, I think it really can be. I'll tell you, I never really thought about it until last week. I mean, this whole thing happened. I woke up in the middle of the night after... Um, watching television last week. I really have only watched live sports on TV, you know, most of the, my, you know, adult life. And after having nothing else to watch and you, know, you, you hear on the news, there's not enough testing, there's not enough ventilators, there's not enough mask gowns. And kind of I woke up in the middle of the night and said, wait a second, we could help make a difference here. But I think companies, leaders in business, whether you're in the sports business, whether you're, you're in a traditional business, I think if you can help make a difference, I think that's your responsibility. And so when Tom and I started talking about it and the Attorney General of Pennsylvania, um, Josh Spear, started talking about it, I think we all realized collaboratively that together with Major League Baseball, uh, we could make, you know, we could have some impact here. And um, certainly I think there's lots of companies that can do that. So from my perspective, um, you know, my message to others would be, you know, think about how your business could help this fight. Because look, all of us are in, you know, the the, probably the most unique position many of us have ever been in in our adult lives. People are worried about themselves um, from a medical perspective, health and safety perspective, and also many people from a financial perspective. And so the sooner we can beat this and move forward with our lives, the better we are. And I think uh, in addition to the government, we need, um, you know, private businesses to help make a difference. And I think there's uh, many businesses that haven't been asked by the government to help that could help. And I think that's a big opportunity to try to speed this process of recovery up. Governor, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like the to, state I'd, of uh, – oh, go ahead. Uh, and then I'll ask you about the state of the state no, I, uh, in terms of dealing with the coronavirus. Okay. I'll, I'll Let me – before, I just want to <clears throat> – uh, add to, to what Michael said. I, I think this is a <clears throat> heaven-sent opportunity for businesses 
and governments to work together. And in Pennsylvania, we're trying to figure out how we can uh, do a better job of, of, of uh, working together. Uh, uh, there are a lot of businesses, to Michael's point, uh, who are doing what he's done, and that is coming to, to us and saying, how can I help? Uh, how, can, how can we help? Uh, and we, we uh, are trying to do everything we can to, to uh, provide the access they need to serve that when they want to volunteer. Uh, we're, we're saying, here's the opportunity. We also need to do a better job of reaching out, saying, here's what we need. So we're, we're learning as, as we go, but it really helps having entrepreneurs like Michael Rubin, uh, who, who uh, recognize that citizenship has uh, 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 certain obligations that, that, that go beyond just living your daily life. And, and I really appreciate that. He's making life better for uh, countless Pennsylvanians. So now in Pennsylvania, we're, we're facing the the, 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 the virus, we're trying to take a, a, a measured approach, but a decisive approach. So we've shut down schools, shut down un, non-essential businesses, uh, and, and in counties where we've had a, a severe outbreak, uh, like especially the southeast, also out in Pittsburgh, uh, that, that we have actually uh, issued a stay-at-home uh, order. Uh, the city of Philadelphia has its own stay-at-home order, uh, shelter in place. Um, and, and, you know, to the, the, the question that I think you've raised earlier, you know, is the medicine, uh, is the cure worse than the, uh, the disease? Um, uh, there is no question that the cure is, is draconian. Uh, we are trying to buy time for our health care systems to, to build the capacity like masks uh, that they need to, to, uh, to deal with this situation. Uh, but uh, that medicine, as bad as it is, is better than the alternative. Uh, and, and so we're all uh, working hard to make sure that we keep Pennsylvanians safe uh, and other states are doing the same thing to keep their citizens safe. Uh, and so we're, we're seeing a, okay. a big increase in, in, in cases in certain areas, but, but uh, we're, we're doing everything we can to make sure that we bend the curve so that the, the okay. demand on our health care system does not outstrip the supply. Governor, thank you. Uh, Governor Wolf, thanks. And, and Michael Rubin, thank you. And thanks for, for thinking about this, waking up in the middle of the night and, and, and admitting that you finally started watching a little squawk box now that you, you don't want to watch classic sports from, you know, the NCAA finals in, in 2015. I'm, I'm not watching those either. Listen, I just want to acknowledge, uh, I really you, like this, this, this work at home thing. I'm in sweatpants on my bottom, so I may not never come back to the studio with you guys again.